What new celebrations can we expect in FIFA 21? I'm your boy Viva La FIFA and I've listed up the 21 most popular new celebrations you guys told me and I found on the internet for FIFA 21. Of course, we talk about the kneeling down for George Floyd, but there is so much more. What think about Neymar Jr. with a shoe on his hat, Lionel Messi taking off his shirt, but also players like Erling Braut Haaland and many more will be featuring in the video with a new cool celebration. So guys, if you're missing a new celebration let me know it down in the comment section below if you love the video give a thumbs up subscribe for more and put on the notification bell and a big shout out to my fans because in the community section you told me what would be cool names for these celebrations and some of them you'll find back in the video so a big thanks for that and don't forget guys smash a thumbs up because here we go and of course we are starting off with the most respectful celebration in this video and that is kneeling down for not only George Floyd but for the whole black community because well don't forget although I live in the Netherlands it's pretty fine between the black and the white people in America it's still a big difference so that is why I think it's an amazing thing that these kneeling down players are not suspended like it happened in the NFL four years ago but everybody said amazing we've seen all the Bundesliga teams doing it I expect it as well in the La Liga and in the Premier League because let's be honest everybody will say no to racism you can see that on a football page and in the stands way too much in comparison to what we see in real life so come on make it happen kneeling down to show respect in the FIFA game and give a thumbs up if you agree Marcus Thuram was the first one doing that that guy is a hero we're starting off in a very professional way but now it's getting more funny and funny every single time Neymar Jr. is one of those players every single season is thinking about new celebrations he once took the corner flag and using it as a gun but knowing E a FIFA is also made for kids they won't put that in the video so everybody that said do Roberto Firmino doing the gun guys they will not add that into the game but Neymar had an amazing celebration last season putting his shoe on his hat I think it's a big miss that it wasn't in FIFA 20 but well they can fix that besides individual celebrations how cool would it be if you can select a team celebration there was a team in Iceland that became very noticed and known for that they did like the bicycle they did dive in the water using the players as a toilet so many great things catching a fish but we also seen other teams doing nice bowling uh, celebrations you name it they've been there so this is something I'm really missing at the moment in the FIFA game if they can add it it would be an amazing thing everybody will love to do and yep it is taking much time but I think if you can do it once in a game it will be fabulous we know Lionel Messi for showing his shoot after scoring a winning goal in the Bernabeu and why did Lionel Messi he do that it was not well to say hello to the Real Madrid fans I scored a goal against you no nope. it was his fifth hundred goal in the La Liga and for that he had a special reason showing his shirt to the audience we've also seen Nabil Fakir doing that but he did that in a big derby game it has nothing to do about reaching so many goals so for Messi I would say it's respectful for Nabil Fakir it is just a normal celebration and of course if you do it you should get a yellow card realistic EA put it in. When Dries Mertens scored a goal against the Barcelona, he did the dance monster. Dries Mertens is very known for doing crazy celebrations. He does the peeing dog, going to a corner flag, sitting on his knee, and then he does like he pees like a dog on the corner flag. EA will not put it in. He also went to the camera when it was very cold, and he made it hard for his girlfriend. So Dries Mertens is known with a dance monster. I think he can be there, running to the camera, doing the dance monster. I would love that. When Jamie Vardy scored goal against Crystal Palace he did the eagle and why is that so funny Crystal Palace has a logo with the eagle so it was a little bit well disturbing for the Crystal Palace fans but Jamie Vardy already did the statue that is in FIFA now, so I know that Jamie Vardy, well, is a big fan of EA and FIFA, and knowing EA, I think the Eagle can be in FIFA 21. Something the FIFA fans want for quite some time is taking your shirt off if you score an important goal. Roberto Bobby Firmino did it in the World Cup for teams when he scored a winning goal in injury time. Well, I mean, it's extra time, it doesn't really care, but this is something you should do if you score a winning goal, plus it has to be an injury time. If EA can set that up, it's more realistic than if you're 3-0 down, you score a 3-1 and then you're taking your shirt off. Yes, one hell of a fun idea, of course. But if they want to make it realistic, make sure last minutes, it has to be a winning goal or an important equalizing goal or else it's not very cool. Pro Evolution Soccer already has it in the game. So I think it's just 
pretty easy for EA to add it in as well. Give a thumbs up if you will do it. Although the dab is a little bit 2016 and I know that the double dab will be cool if you can do that. Once again, it will be a teammate celebration. You don't need a whole team, but only two players. We've seen players like Vasquez, Sergio Ramos and Marcelo doing it at Real Madrid, Paul Pogba back in his days with Polo Dybala at Juventus and many other players. When Serge Aurier was still a player of Paris Saint-Germain, he did rock, paper, scissors with his teammate. Of of course, a very fun celebration. Everybody that's watching this video once upon a time in his life already did rock, paper, scissors with his girlfriend, with his friends, with your, well, women friends. You know what I mean. Everybody did rock, paper, scissors. It's not in FIFA, but maybe next season it will. One of my favorite celebrations that is still missing is putting on a mask or like Rodrigo does from Valencia, putting up a wig. Also very funny. We know that Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang is one of the most famous players who are putting on crazy masks. He did the Black Panther. We also had Hibines of the Wolves putting on Mexican wrestling uh, mask. So that's also a very cool asset. It doesn't really matter what mask to put on. If you can do it, it will make the game even cooler. When Lionel Messi scored an astonishing goal against Liverpool last season in the Champions League. Yes, in the end, I know Liverpool defeated Barcelona in a 4-0 home win. But when he scored an amazing free kick, leaving Alisson Becker without any chances, he did a slide on his bum. So that means sliding on the pitch, celebrating like that. Let's call it the messy slide. What's the score? Kevin De Bruyne did this one year ago when Manchester City was 21 points ahead of the opponent they were defeating that day. Of course, you can also use it to show I'm 1-0 up against you or I'm winning the game three goals to two. You can think about whatever you love. I think it's cool that you can trigger your opponent by running to the camera and showing the result of the game. I know some some controllers will be broken by that. Say no to racism is a big theme, but I'm going to put it down to two players, one of them being black, the other one being white, like Frankie De Jong and Genie Wijnaldum showing it for the Dutch national team. Although we have a different skin color, we're just as equal and we can work together as persons. An amazing celebration and this really shows respect. Quincy Promes is well known for a celebration of taking the mask off. With that, he's doing a little bit crazy dances and he started off when he was a player of Spartak Musk he also continued doing that for Sevilla and Ajax Amsterdam. So this is something my community people fans told me. Make it mask off. And I must say, an amazing name, great idea. There are more players that show their respect for their colleagues or other top supporters. Like Kobe Bryant when he died, then Neymar Jr. did the Kobe Bryant number after scoring a goal for Paris Saint-Germain. Also, Jaden Sancho and multiple other players showed their respect for George Floyd, not only by kneeling down, but putting a tax on their shirt. I still think putting a tags on your shirt is something amazing because let's be honest if you can put there mommy I love you and you score a winning goal and you can show that to your opponent well that would be something beautiful or maybe if your girlfriend is watching to get with you to a FIFA game and you want to ask her to marry you put it on that shirt score a goal take it off and the rest well that means celebration Mason Mount is well known for his goal scoring celebration Frankstein the Frankstein no it's not the Frankenstein it's just Frank Stein. He talked about that with one of the rappers in London. If he scores a goal, he will do the celebration. And well, he kept his word. Before he jumped in the air, he thought, oh, I have to do another celebration. So he mixed it up with each other. Insane in the membrane. We can call him the Usmane Dembele insane in the brain. After scoring a goal, you have to tap to your head. You can call it another way, but this was once again something my viewers thought about. An amazing idea, a cool name, insane in the brain. It just already feels good. There is a pretty cool story story behind the celebration of Steven Bergwijn. After scoring in his debut game against Manchester City, he was doing something like this. What is that? It is called the duck. We've seen Alexander Pato playing in Europe for AC Milan. And if you know him, you know his nickname was the duck. He started off with a celebration 10 years ago. Bergwijn did that with his friends in a FIFA game. And with his friends, they told him, if you score that goal, you need to do that celebration. It's a little bit like Kylian Mbappé talked about about with his brother about doing this celebration in real life. So that is why Steven Bergwijn is doing the duck, but it's actually Alexander Pato started off with. For this celebration, we need two teammates once again. We know the bromance between Alexander Lacazette and Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang is from the highest order. They did amazing celebrations, but the respectful handshaking is just one of the coolest. Wow, then, Moise Ken, he is the man of Everton. He played for Juventus in the past and the Italian national team at the moment. And 
when he scores, he has an amazing dance. Don't ask me, Viva, show us that dance because it goes way too quickly and we know, well, white people, they can't dance. So I'm not going to try it because I will look more like Peter Crouch doing a robot, but respect for the wow dance of Moise Ken. It looks amazing. And to finish the episode off, we have the meditation of Erling Braut Haaland. This is one of the coolest things I want to see in FIFA 21 and I have a gut feeling that it will be in there. He did it after scoring the second goal against Paris Saint-Germain in that game in the Champions League. It was only the home game, so he has to learn to do that after defeating an opponent and not after the first game because when Paris Saint-Germain defeated Borussia Dortmund, two goals to nil, Dortmund was deleted from the Champions League and the Paris Saint-Germain players, they celebrated the Erling Broad Haaland way. Haaland said after that, I'm pretty happy they did it because with that, more people know that meditation is something that can help you in the world to get respect for yourself, for each other and find the calm within yourself. So beautiful words, beautiful idea, cool celebration and I think this is something we can expect in FIFA 21. So guys, if you love the video, give a thumbs up, subscribe for more and put in the notification bell and are you missing a celebration? Let me know it down in the comment section and in the poll if you click that i button you can vote about your favorite in this video. Let me know what you think about it, thumbs up, subscribe for more and put in the notification bell. I hope you enjoyed, I wish you all a very nice day and as you know for me keep it cool, keep it real and ciao for now. Baby, we'll fall.